Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, we're going to start creating our assets. We're going to start uh, downloading our assets, organizing our files to make sure that everything, everything set up for us to start this project. It's going to be pretty awesome. Let's start doing that right now. So have your HD docs available. This is a shortcut for my root in XAMPP. All right. And then I'm going to inside HD docs, I'm going to create a folder called ecom, E-C-O-M. There we go, and that's going to stand, of course, for e-commerce. And in this lecture here, all right, I got some files for you. So go to the right-hand corner. Hopefully, this platform already has that for you in the right-hand corner. But make sure that you go to that, to that place where you download your files in this lecture. Download a folder called, it's going to be on the zip file, called the student underscore project underscore files underscore PHP. <sighs> All right, that was tiresome. But anyway, download that. And then inside ecom, I want you to make another folder called public. This is going to be an equivalent to the www in your live server, just in case one day you want to launch this to the web. All right. And also, some people have it as public underscore HTML. All right. So everything inside this folder is going to be visible, it's going to be available to the customers to people surfing the web. And we're going to make another folder here called resources. And this is where we're going to be keeping our functions and database information. We don't want this information to be out here. All right. We're just going to keep it a little bit more secure up here. Even though we can do things here to prevent people from accessing that information. But just to be on the safe side, I want to show you how to put it right here and use it. All right. So now the next thing is I want you to unzip this all right that folder that I just gave you that those files and I want you to copy all this and I want you to drag it to your public or copy it or paste paste it there right so I'm just gonna select all and use my keyboard shortcut um, alt option and drag it and that's just gonna make a copy of it so that way I can have this in intact here just in case in the future I want to use it somehow all right I still have those files available there and I suggest you do the same. All right. So the next step is to set up our paths. So that way we can use our path or um, files a lot easier when we are including, requiring or using it with functions or, you know, displaying images, whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think we got some time in this lecture. So I'm going to open my co-editor and I'm going to drag that ecom folder right here. All right, I'm using Sublime Text, but you can use any co-editor you want. All right, and right inside resources, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a file called config.php. All right, and I'm going to right click again and I'm going to create another one called function functions.php. All right, perfect. All right. So I'm going to open up my PHP tags and just like this. All right. So the first thing that I want to define here is a separator. All right. Some systems, some servers like Windows servers will, will display a backslash like this on the uh, file path. And Mac users will display a forward slash like this. All right. So we want to make sure that we whatever path we're using is compatible with those applications with either Windows or uh, Linux servers. All right. So let's go ahead and define this. We're going to use a function, predefined function called define just to make sure that everything is defined. We're going to call this DS and we're going to use this operator here, itinerary, itinerary operator to uh, do like an if statement kind of thing. All right. And for those of you that took my PHP for beginners course, know what I'm referring to and for those that have not make sure that you take any PHP basics course out there before you take this course and I probably put that in the description very clearly there so that way you know that you need some skills some some type of knowledge before you get into that to this course all right so anyway if DS DS all right is defined we'll put no if it's not defined we'll define it we we'll use the function define and we'll say ds is going to be oops ds is going to be equal to this 
constant right here called directory underscore separator. All right, let me see. I think I misspelled it. There we go. You see that? All right. So if it's not defined, we're going to apply null to it. And if it's defined, I mean, if it's defined, we're going to apply null to it. And if it's not, we're going to define it as DS. So we're going to redefine this to DS. All right. All right. So that way we can refer to it like that. The next thing is our root. All right. So what is our root going to be? Well, we got something called a magic constant called DIR. DIR. All right. Like this. And that's going to be the root of our website or e-commerce site. I just want to show you how this looks. All right. So I'm going to go to localhost real quick. Localhost. And I'm going to find our e-com. There we go. And public. And we need to go to resources, actually, right here. Resources. And then config that PHP. As you can see, that the underscore underscore dir underscore underscore gives me the whole path of the server until the resources folder. So it's gonna, it's gonna give me the directory where I'm echoing from. All right. And if I use the file one, this one, this is called magic constants, and you can look it up. If I give you this one here, if I change it to that one, it got, it's gonna give me the folder and the file together. All right, so what we want is this one, the DRC, because we're gonna we are going to be actually creating some constants for some folders that we're gonna have in resources right here. So we're gonna be using the the there, all right? For it stands for directory. But anyway, I, we're gonna start doing that in the next lecture since it's gonna take a bit, a couple minutes, and I don't want you, I don't want to keep you here too long. All right, I'm just giving you this little refreshment. So that way you know what we're doing. See you in the next lecture. Hope, hopefully you were enjoying the course. Thank you.